So when you pray tonight, pray hard. Pray sincerely that the Lord would turn it around. The Bible said when the nations, uh, when the wicked rule, and I don't know nothing about this man. I don't, you know, he was a vice president at one time. But like I said, the, the moral issues, the don't we just want to pray that the Lord's will would be done and God would help us. The Bible said that uh, when he told Daniel, he said, Daniel, in the last days that my people, they'll do exploits. We may see some more fiery furnaces. And we may be some, seeing some folks uh, throw in the lines then. I remember, I remember, I had a dream myself, and I remember what Brother Luther Bowman told me years ago. He called me so tore up one night, he said, Brother Jason, I had a bad dream about you. And I said, what did you dream, Brother Luther? He said, I dreamed that you was preaching against sodomy, and they put you in jail for preaching. Amen, against homosexuality. Well, I've had them same dreams before. That dream may come too one day. God helped me to stand against it. Amen. God help me to stand against it. We know it's wrong. We know that it's not right in the sight and the eyes of God. And the Bible said that God destroyed a whole nation. Amen. Left it in brimstone. Left it in ash uh, after he done that. So uh, let's learn from that. I'm going to hush up. I'm just glad to be in the house of the Lord. I get that old preachy spirit. You know what I'm talking about. Amen. When you, be, when you get in the house of the Lord and you ain't been with God's people and you ain't so heard the songs of Zion and amen, you, you want to be in the Lord's house. You want to be in church and amen, worship the Lord. I walked in last night uh, to Brother Thomas Church. I walked in last night and the whole church was a marching around the church of praise of the Lord. And why, when I walked in, Brother Tommy just handed me a flag, victory flag, said, just go ahead, you, you march now. And I thought, my gracious, what an entrance. Amen. Just walk right into the house of the Lord, marching around, praising the Lord, and giving the God of heaven eternal glory. Amen for what he's done. So uh, we want you to pray. Brother Mickey, go ahead and give us your request tonight. He's got some folks he wants us to pray for. Okay. The Humphreys, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Preacher Robert Elliott uh, in critical care. And uh, last I heard was on 11 liters of, uh, of oxygen. And ain't looking good for him at all unless the Lord helps him. And uh, we want you to pray that the Lord would help his wife as well. Uh, Sue Harlow had texted us two days ago and told us that his wife now has got the virus. His wife now has got the virus. So uh, be, be much in prayer for that family. Also, uh, uh, Sister uh, Miranda, her mom. What, 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 what was about her mom now? You told me something today. Been in the hospital two weeks and ain't been able to uh, see her family. They won't let none of her family in there, and and uh, so let's let's remember that family, brother Charles Irwin, good man of God. Let's pray for their family. The Lord would help them. Let's that God would help them. Okay. Yeah. We just need to pray, don't we? It's just pray. We just need to pray. Anybody else got a request? All right, Sister Geraldine. All right. Yeah, boy. The Lord's able, and he? he can do all things. I tell you something, just let's pray for our lost people. That's, that's the worst thing in the world, ain't it? I'd rather have COVID and have the Lord and, and be lost and healthy as a mule. Amen. I would. I'd rather have the Lord in my life as, as to have sin and have to lower my. Killing my head tonight and worry about dying and going to hell. I don't want to go to hell. 
Amen. So let's just do. And then, then there's a lot of folks just living in just fear. You know, yeah, they are. There's a lot of folks just living. And that's what the devil's trying to do to folks. Just get them in that fear. Get them in that. And I know ain't nobody wants to get sick if you've got any sanity to you. I mean, ain't nobody wants to get sick. Nobody does. And, uh, but you can't, you can't go live in a hole the rest of your life. You can't do it. You just can't do it. You've got to get out and, and, uh, and live. Praise the Lord. The Lord said live, didn't he? Yeah. So let's pray, for, let's pray for folks that's needing, needing help with that. Anybody else tonight? Yeah, amen. Let's do remember that. Yeah. Right. Let's remember that. Anybody else before we pray? All right. Amen. Yes. All right, good sister, we will. Lord, help our people. Anybody glad you saved? Amen. Everybody look up here and smile. I'm going to look at all your faces and make sure you smile. If you ain't smile, I'm going to come get you. Praise the Lord. Ain't it good to be here in the house of the Lord? Praise the Lord. They used to tell me all the time that it takes more muscles in your face to frown than it does to smile. And we used to have a teacher sometimes used to say this all the time. I wish everybody would just rest a little while. That makes sense, don't it? Amen. Just rest yourself a little while. Just smile. Praise the Lord. He resurrected on Easter. Amen. Amen. That's what the Lord met them on the Emmaus. He said, why are y'all so sad for? Why is your countenance so bad for? He said, the Lord's risen. He's alive. He's well. Praise the Lord. Let's come and humble ourselves down before the God of heaven. Let's pray sincerely before the Lord. Let's beg God for our nation and our country. And let's ask God to turn this thing around. The Lord can do it. God can do it. God can do it. You know who I'm a praying? All you little old young'uns in here, you little old teenagers and 20-year-olds, y'all ain't got no understanding why we're praying like this. We're praying like this because of you. We're praying like this because of you. That's what we're praying for. It's for our young'uns' sake. It's for my grand young'uns' sake. That's what it's about. Praise the Lord. Brad and lead us to the Lord. Our Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus
Brother uh, Michael Switzer, he's the preacher that started the prayer service out in Abingdon, uh, texted me and said their whole prayer meeting service tonight down where they go to church is that's what they're going to do. The whole service is just pray for our country and our nation. They certainly ain't nothing wrong with that. Amen. So I think maybe before we leave again tonight, we want to have another prayer. Beg the Lord. I mean, you know, the Lord put it in the parable. Somebody just almost like getting on your nerves and aggravating. Said that woman, she for her persistence, she kept going to that judge, that king. Amen. Every day her continual coming. 
And the Bible said, finally, that judge said, not because I fear man or God, but because of this woman's continual coming. Amen. I'm going to move. So maybe the Lord will hear us and, and help us tonight. Amen. Either way, the Lord's on our side. It ain't like we've lost the Lord. Amen. If, we, if they're president whom we think should be there, it ain't like we've lost the Lord. The Lord's on our side, ain't it? Praise God. And the Bible said, if God be for you, you know what the rest of it is. Who can be against us? Amen. We're on the Lord's side. Besides, amen, I just live in America, but my citizenship's done been moved. Praise the Lord. I belong to another country. Bless his good name. Well, Brother Mickey, come on, y'all and your family and sing. Praise the Lord and sing. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's have a prayer for them, Clyde. You're right. They ask us to do that. Let's pray for Junior and Gladys right now. Will y'all folks go ahead and get ready? Amen. Uh, Gladys has been in and out of that hospital. Everybody here at the church knows uh, what her past has been and her history in the past few months. She's lived and been at the hospital more than the house. And uh, let's, let's just bow our heads right now and have a special prayer uh, for Sister Gladys that the Lord would touch her. Father, in Jesus' holy name, I believe, Lord, that your people depend on the church. And thank you, Lord, for putting in Brother Clyde's mind and reminding us, Lord, to pray. God, there's so many people, Lord, that's needing prayer. So many that's needing help tonight, Lord. We ask it in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would touch her. Lord, just bring them blood levels up, God, what they need to be. Lord, where she can be back again in the house of the Lord. Be in church, Lord, and see her get this victory flag and march around the church and praise the Lord God. We know you're able, Lord, to do all things. We know, God, that you got all power in heaven and earth. And, Lord, we love you and praise you, Lord, for what you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, you pray for these folks. I appreciate it. Hey. Some place their trust in the wisdom of another. Some search for light in the dark. But like a child, I have come with simple faith in the only one that can change my
Brandon's asked me about time to sing this song, so I'll do this one first. They placed old Daniel in a lion's den. They thought the lions would do Daniel in. He called God's name the lion.
And if I breathe, it will come and devour me. But all I gotta do is speak His name. Oh. psalm to you. Amen. I'll tell you, they just something about this Bible, ain't they? There's something about this Bible. Amen. If you're looking for peace, open up the pages of this Bible. 
I don't very, very seldom do I get a headache like my wife gets. But when I get one, if I can get my hands on some ibuprofen just like that, it's gone. Just like that, it's gone. Yeah. And uh, I, this, this, this is how fast this Bible works. If folks is needing peace tonight, I just thought I'd read this. Uh, I want y'all to pretend like y'all ain't never heard this in your life. Would you do that for me? Amen. Listen here what the psalmist said. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Amen. I believe you ought to come on. Uh, uh, Grayson, where you at? I know I've seen you here. Where's Grayson at? I believe you ought to come on up here right now. Let's sing it. Praise the Lord. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Boy, I love God, don't you? Yeah. Amen. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. He yeah. said, Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah. I'm going to start all over and read all that again. Pray, does that make anybody mad? Praise the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. When you lie down, that means you're getting rest, ain't it? He maketh me to lie down. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. In the, there's a lot of me in there. In the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Woo! Hallelujah! When's the last time your cup runneth over? He said, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Is the Lord your shepherd tonight? Amen. Well, he knows all of his sheep by name. And he goes before his sheep. And he said, My father hath loved me because I've laid down my life for the sheep. Amen. He said that I may go and gather in from all nations. Amen. That they may. And when, when the Lord was a talking about the shepherd and the sheep, it almost made you feel like that he was talking about two different types of people. And he was. He was talking about the Jews and the Gentiles. But he said that I may bring them in that they may be one fold and one shepherd. One shepherd in one fold. I'm glad tonight. Amen. He's my shepherd. Sing that, Sister Grace. Oh, yeah. The Lord is good. Let's stand and do that. Praise the Lord. Hey, you know what? My daughter Hannah, she had the coronavirus. And she was here at church. She didn't know she had it. And she was here at church. She sat right here Sunday, three, two weeks ago. And, uh, and nobody at the church got it. The Lord is good. And His mercy endureth forever. The Lord is good. Hey, I need to, I got it. Somebody said, you're not to talk. I have to tell that. They get to be more of us than they are y'all that ain't had it anyway. <laughs> ain't that right? They get to be more of us. We'll have a corona revival. Praise the Lord. Let all these people that's been shooed and looked down upon and like that, amen, we'll just have a revival for all of us. Praise the Lord. But I thank the Lord, Brother Randall. God watched over our church. Amen. It could have been everybody in here got it. But not, no, not nobody, not nobody in the church got it. And I'm thankful for that. Why do you believe the reason is that? Because the Lord is good and His mercy endure forever. The Lord is good and His mercy endure forever. The Lord is good and His mercy endure forever. And the Lord's my shepherd. Sing that, Grace. Praise the Lord. He
I'm glad that I'm saved. I was thinking today that David, he, he lied and killed a man. Yeah. And he was saved. He was saved. He was saved. I get thinking about the devil tries to bring things back that I've done and who I used to be. I thought about the man in the tombs. Yeah. I'd say every time that he wore a short sleeve shirt, if he did, I don't, know, I don't know if he wore long sleeves because he didn't want to be reminded because the devil said, look who you used to be. Or if he, he went around with cut sleeves all the time looking and saying, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I ain't got no, the last cut I had was when the day that I seen Jesus. I ain't had a cut since then. I'm glad that I'm saved. I ain't had no more cuts. Since I talked to him, I'm, I ain't had no more long nights in bed wondering about my soul. I'm so glad that I'm saved. I just heard the news this morning. Can't imagine how you feel. Wish I knew the words to say to make it not seem so real. But everything's fine. Everything's okay. I just had a talk with Jesus. He said help is on the way. So just hang on and don't lose sight. Soon your waiting will be over. He will make your burdens light. Everything's fine. Amen. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. You lost your way. Your world is spinning around and around. Oh, but what a free. Thank you, Jesus. Everything's fine, everything's okay. I just had a talk with Jesus, he said help is on the way. So just hang on and don't lose sight, soon you're waiting. Doing on a rock today, out there at John Douglas Wayside, I went way down in there and got on a flat rock because I've been troubled to death ever since last night about who was going to win the race. Yeah, because I, I got babies that are going to grow up, and in four more years, Addison is going to be right in the middle of her childhood. That's yeah. right. That's right. And, and there's potentially going to be a leader that endorses homosexual marriage, right, drug right. abuse for recreation, I mean, just to get blown out of your mind because you want to. That's right. All kinds of sin. And I, I've been to all the things. And, and I got down on a rock today and I said, Lord, this is too big for me to pray for. I mean, this is a man that's going to lead my family and the whole nation. Yes, sir. I just can't pray for it. And I thought about how there is one man, one mediator, between man and God, yeah. whose name is Christ Jesus. Yeah. I said, Lord, where are my intercessors? Yeah. I ain't got the words to say. I said, Jesus, would you go and pray to your daddy about this? Because I can't pray for it. And whatever that the outcome is, I'm going to trust your prayers, Jesus. Yeah. I've got peace about it. Right. Who else got a song or testimony? Bob Judy, won't y'all come sing one tonight? Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. It's about time you started acting up and being right now. I've been troubled all day. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Ain't the Lord good? 
Ain't this wonderful? This is what you call an atmosphere. Amen. These, these alabaster boxes are being broke. People obeying the Lord, worshiping the Lord tonight. We'll get straight now here. <laughs>
That's all right. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Tommy, well enough to know him. 
He wants everybody to obey the Lord. I guarantee he does. Amen. We invited him to come tonight to be with us and to preach for us, but I know him well enough to know. We want everybody. You know, you're, if you obey the Lord, I thought about what Sister Sarah done when she, at the start of the service, went back and got Sister Jelena and just marched around the church. And, yeah. Amen. That shows folks that you love and you care yeah. and you've got feelings one for another. You want to see your brother blessed. You want to see your sister blessed. You want to prefer them before. You obey the Lord tonight. Is anybody else? Now, I'm not just trying to carry meeting on and but we want you to obey the Lord. We want you to obey God. Is everybody clear tonight? Then we'll turn it to Brother Tommy. If everybody's clear of everything. You've done what the Lord asked you to do. Everybody clear. Everybody fine. Anybody need to do anything? I'm not just sufficient for something. Amen. Not for us to doing that now. But somebody's got something you need to do of the Lord. I don't feel like I'd be asking that if it wasn't so. Anybody need to do anything? Just another second now. Okay. All right. Amen. We're going to turn it to Brother Tommy. Just let him preach whatever the Lord allows him to do tonight. It's been good for us to be here, ain't it? It's been good for us to be here. I love the Lord. I love his sweet Holy Ghost. There's nothing like it. You have to experience the Holy Ghost to be able to say what Paul said. He said, I'm in a strait betwixt the two. He knowed what was on the other side of the river. And if this is what's on the other side of the river, it don't make it seem so bad, does it? I love brother. Y'all love Brother Tommy? Amen. Listen, Sister Marlene, I was glad to hear you shout again tonight, Sister. Praise the Lord. Y'all come on, just sing and obey the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. Is that what you'll just go yeah. with? It's all right. We don't care. Come on, saints of God. Get around this church. We need all y'all folks. In the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, bless him. Thank you, Lord, for all touch of the Lord. Our God in heaven. I bless you, Lord. And I have on the flock of God. As we come tonight in the name of the Lord.
Good to be in the house of the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. I'm, I'm glad I was able to be here tonight. It's always an honor, I think, to go to the house of the Lord. It's a great privilege, ain't it? It's a great privilege. Uh, we ain't never sung this song, so we're going to try it. Might mess up, but it'll be all right, I reckon. Won't be the first time. If I live, it won't be the last. So that's just the way it is, ain't it? We don't usually practice, so we just... Mm. Got a lot of meaning in this. It's been on my heart for a few days. The word of God came to Elijah as before God's throne he looked. Get me hence and take ye yonder. Get you eastward by the brook. Yeah. So he did as God commanded. He knew that the Lord would see him through. Just as God did for Elijah, he will do for you and me. He said, stay by the brook, stay by the brook. God told Elijah to go down, stay by the brook. I'll see to your every need. The ravens will bring you food to eat. Don't get faint-hearted, just look to me and stay by the brook. Well, all of our days down here are numbered. We're like a vapor and then we're gone. God never failed one of his children. Every one of us will make it home. So don't fret about your problems and the heartaches you might face. It could happen any moment. God's going to take us out of this place. He said, stay by the brook. Stay by the brook. God told Elijah to go down. Stay by the brook. I'll see to your every need. The raven will bring you food to eat. Don't get faint-hearted. Just look to me and stay by the brook. Well, all of our days down here are numbered. We're like a vapor, then we're gone. God never failed one of his children. Every one of us will make it home. So don't fret about your problems and the heartaches you might face. It could happen any moment. God's going to take us out of this place. He said, stay by the brook. 
saved by the brook. God told Elijah to go down and stay by the brook. I'll see to your every need. The ravens will bring you food to eat. Don't get bit-hearted, just look to me and stay by the brook. Don't get faint-hearted, just look to me and stay by the brook. Praise the Lord. That's what I want to do. I want to stay by the brook. Okay. And my thought tonight, as I've been a praying, it's been on my mind even before Jason mentioned coming over here, about uh, staying, staying with the Lord and stay on the right way. Stay right in the right path and, and stay right with God. And don't lean to the right or to the left, but just stay right with Him. And don't, don't turn away and don't, don't let this world get us down. We got to stay on the path that we're on. Uh, right. uh, stay on the right course that we're on. Uh, and if we'll stay on here, while well, we can land in a better world. Uh, 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 if you if you're going somewhere and and you you set your, your GPSs and all of these things, or you gotta uh, know where you're going. If you stay on the course you're going, uh, uh, you'll soon get there. Uh, yeah. But if you go off on that course, uh, yeah. it'll take you longer to get there because because you killed more time. Uh, you're wasting more time than what time you could have been going, uh, what time you could have been traveling. Uh, and so if we look over here and we look over there uh, and we're going to start wasting time, uh, but we need to keep our eyes on the Lord. Uh, that's where the prize is, uh, is at tonight. Uh, uh, the prize is on the Lord. Uh, that's where it all lies. It lies in Him uh, and He holds it all. We can't go this way or that way. We got to stay with the Lord. And don't don't begin to let this world overwhelm you and begin to come at you and tell you this and tell you that. Even though the troubles may be around. But Elijah got down there when he got to the brook. He sat back and the raven brought the bread and he brought the flesh every morning. And the Bible said every Every evening uh, yeah. uh, that it brought the bread and the flesh. Uh, uh, but well, no, uh, several days, I guess, I don't know how long it was, uh, but after a while the brook dried up. Uh, uh, see, Elijah done prayed uh, for it not to rain, uh, and, and he done told Ahab, uh, I, I, it ain't going to rain. Uh, and so he done, God told him, go down to the brook. And uh, so he went down to the brook, uh, and he stayed there. Uh, but after a while, uh, uh, the water dried up. Uh, I don't know what he thought then, but I still believe that he knew that the Lord was going to see him through. He still had it in his heart that the Lord was going to see him through. And all during the drought, all during the time, now the Bible said he prayed that it didn't even rain and that there wasn't even no dew fall. He even asked for no dew to fall. It dried it plumb up. What about that? and not even go out every morning uh, walk through the grass in the summertime uh, and you get your feet wet uh, and the dew's all over the ground uh, uh, but no dew fell uh, and nothing happened uh, but all during this time uh, uh, he still was working Elijah, uh, he still was working him, uh, Elijah just couldn't go and hide, uh, he went in the cave one time uh, but he had to get out of there, uh, uh, he couldn't stay there, uh, he had to get out uh, uh, God's got work Forest Church. We can't run and hide. Ain't nowhere for you to hide in no way. Ain't no hiding place. There ain't nowhere you can get away from God. You can run. You can stay home. You can do all of these things, but you'll not get away. You can't hide away from the Lord. And the Lord's got work for us. Let's stay on the right course. Let's keep on going. Let's trust God. It's coming to the days. Jason had already said uh, we're going to have to put all our trust in him. Uh, we're going to have to believe in him. Uh, and, oh, uh, uh, you got to believe with all your heart. Uh, we're going to have to give it all to him uh, and surrender it all. Uh, uh, but he went on uh, and he told him to get up from there. Uh, he said, I've got a little widow woman uh, on out yonder. Uh, uh, she, uh, she's going to sustain you. Uh, uh, he's going to have somebody uh, to sustain this brother. Uh, he's going to take care of 
with us. He ain't going to let us fall. I believe you hold us. I believe he's going to keep us, church. I believe he's going to keep them. And that trust is in his name. And them that holds on to him. And them that walks by this blessed book. And follows the Lord. And keep this commandments. And love him with all of their heart. And put, put all their trust in him. And we don't need to be scared. We don't need to be. Because we're serving the Almighty. Our God's not dead. He's not on a journey. He's not gone nowhere. He ain't lost no power. He's still the same. Let's stay on the right course and let's keep on going. It may get rough and it may get hard. Everything wasn't right at Elijah's fingers but he sustained him and he kept him and he led him and he guided him. And you know where I believe he's at? I believe he's up yonder with the Lord right now. I, I believe he's over yonder in a better country. Why is that? Because he trusted in God. He stayed on the right course. He didn't go this way or that way. But he followed after the Lord. But I can tell you of another man, another prophet, and went down to Baal. And he went down there. And God told him not even to eat or drink in that place. And now this was a prophet of God. And he said, Sit him down there and he done the work the Lord told him. He told the man, he told the king, and he told him there what was going to happen. And the king reached out to get a hold of him. And oh, his hand, it dried, it just dried up. It didn't have nothing to move no more about it. It dried up. And he looked to the man of God and said, Pray for me that the Lord would restore my hand back. And the man of God prayed, and the hand became just like it was, just like the other. You see, that now this prophet, he went on, he didn't drink, he didn't eat, he kept on his journey, just like the Lord told him to do. He didn't go out the way that he come in, but he got on down there, a little ways out yonder, and for some reason, he sat down, down over the side of the road, no doubt under a shade tree and going to rest a while. I'm going to sit here. I've done, done the work of the Lord. I went back the way I come. I'm going out another way. But I'm telling you, that devil's got people out there. He's got folks out there that are try to get you. he got folks out there that are try to call you on the phone and they'll try to talk to you, get you pulled away from the, the way you're supposed to go out in the right way that you're supposed to be traveling for God and they want to pull you away they want to get your soul out of Dallas without God you know what's at stake tonight my soul my soul brother and I want to hold on to the Lord it's me I want to make it don't you that's the main thing in my life I love my wife I love my grandchildren but my soul is more precious than it all. I've got to get to heaven. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I want to stay on the right course and keep on going. But this man sat there. I don't know how long he stayed, but I know one thing. He sat too long. He should have been traveling on down the road and going on down. But this other, another old prophet, how he used to be, no doubt, a good man of God. I don't know about that but no doubt oh the, the king I feel like the king had influenced him and turned him in the wrong way got him away from the Lord and oh he told his sons sell up the ice I'm going to go after him I'm going after him that's what he done I don't know how come the Lord has put all this on my mind but he knows what he's doing Timothy I always know he knows what he's doing I don't know know much but I know he knows what he's doing yeah. he knows everything but anyway he got in guy he caught up with him and he talked with him and he said an angel has spoke to me now I'm a prophet just like you oh but the Bible said he lied he lied to the man of God he lied to 
him. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you, there's a lot of folks tell somebody a little lie, and they jump on the wagon. They jump on the wagon. They won't look to the Lord. They won't ask God. A man of God ought to know the voice of God. And Jesus said, my sheep will know my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. And so we need to make sure we know the voice of God and follow right to the Lord and stay on the right course like Elijah did. And you can make heaven your home. But oh, this man lied to him. And you know what he done? Come yeah. on. He got back on his ass, went right back with him. Yeah. Went right back to his house, went in, eat, and drank. Yeah. Knowing the Lord said, Don't you do Don't that. Do that. Don't, you do Don't you drink down there. Don't you eat. Don't you even go back the way you come. You go out another way. Go on your way. Go on out of here. In other words, what he's told him, Don't fool around. Just go on out of here. See, the Lord knew that other man was there. Yeah. Yeah. Lord knows. He knows all things. He knows all things. How easy is this the devil? Everything. Is to deceive you. That's the truth, man. Amen. He know he ain't running around with a great old big pitchfork. No. And no. all these scary things they show him to be. He can come in, huh? in, in, in a He can come. The Bible said he come in sheep clothes. Yeah. Yeah. He can come even in sheep clothes. There's wolves out there in sheep clothes. Yeah. They look pretty. Talk so sweet. All of this and all of that. Just to get you. Yeah. Just to get you away from the Lord. That's all the devil wants. Just steal your soul. He don't care a thing in the world about you. He don't care nothing about you. Just wants your soul. Just wants you to get off track with God. See, he knows a lot of times he can get you off track with God. That, you, that your, your heart will start going that way. That's right. That's the truth. Your heart will start going that way. After a while, it pulls you. The way you're going. Yeah. The way you're going. And then he pulls you away from the Lord. This man went back with the false prophet, eating drunk. But before he left, yeah. the Lord spoke to the false prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Now ain't that something? That is something? The Lord spoke to him and told him. Said you just no, I don't may not get it word for word, but here you went, you you didn't obey the Lord, the commandments of God. And there's, there's, a, there's a line waiting on you, honey. And he got on it, on his ass, and he rode out. He rode out. I wonder if he, I wonder if he, I wonder if he believed that. I wonder if when he told him that, did he believe it like he did back here? I'd say, I'd say the man's heart began to sink. I'd say the man's heart began to sink. I'm done, done, doomed for now. I'm done, doomed for now. And the line slewed the man. Yeah. Didn't touch the ice. Didn't mess with it. Didn't even tire the man. It just killed him. Just killed him. That's all it done. Yeah. Sat right there beside of him. Yeah. Now what about that? <laughs> Better stay on the right course. Right. Yeah. Better stay on the right course that we're on. Let's just keep on going. Yeah. The Lord will see us through. Amen, the yeah. Lord, He's the Lord, the, the Lord will see us through. Yeah. He will. He won't forsake us. No. He won't, he's never forsaked his people. He'll be with us, but we've got to stay on the right course. Elijah went on, done a lot more work. He just kept on going, doing the work. The drought was there, but he had to go on. It might have been days he went several days without water, but he went on. He went on anyway, and he obeyed the Lord. Hey, maybe things come upon us and this and that, but we've got to go on. We've got to trust in the Lord. We've got we to gotta believe in him. We gotta, why can't I trust him? I trust him with my soul. Why can't I trust him with everything else? Why can't I trust him with everything else? That's what really he wants. That's really that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to trust him with everything. Sometimes the little things come, we won't trust him as much, or I don't. But I end up have to. I end up I have to. I have to trust him in it all and everything. We got to believe. We got to believe. Church, you got to believe. He hears you when you pray. Amen. When you pray, you got to believe that. Yeah. you got to believe in your heart, yeah. in your heart, that he trusts you and he hears you when you pray. When I know I don't feel the Spirit all the time I pray, but, 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 I, but I know he hears me. 
I do. I know. It ain't every time I feel His good spirit overwhelm me and all of this that when I pray, sometimes feel like I just spit my words out and I go back in the house and nothing happens. Uh, but boy, they've been a few times. Uh, they've been a few times that when I begin to pray, uh, I feel His presence. Uh, they've been a few times. Uh, I love it when I pray uh, and I hear one word from Him. Uh, I know it's all right. Uh, I know it's all right. Uh, I know it'll be all right. Uh, I know it'll be all right. Uh, I've, been, I've had a, a lot of things in my life. Uh, I had one my younger boy got in trouble once, uh, real bad trouble, uh, and I don't don't excuse him, and I don't uh, 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 agree with all he done and all that. But he had my two little grandbabies. They were just little bitty babies, uh, and, and 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 I knew that uh, uh, that that's going to be bad on him. Uh, I knew that he's going to go to jail, maybe prison. Uh, I knew that, uh, and I was up on been praying about, and I was up on the mountain, uh, uh, going through my hay field uh, uh, on the tractor, and I was praying. Uh, tears running down my face. I uh, talking to the Lord, uh, and when I was talking to him, uh, I heard his sweet voice uh, uh, say, uh, "It'll be all right. Uh, it's going to be all right. Uh, it's going to be all right." Uh, and oh, after I heard that, uh, I feel it's going to be all right. Uh, I still prayed about it. Uh, oh, I sure did. Uh, a lot of folks teach, "Well, you just come and pray. Never mention no more." I don't. I keep going back. I keep going back. I'm like the little woman. I just keep going back and going back. But we had to go to court, and we went over there, and he said, I want you to go with me, Dad. I said, all right. But at church, we got him a prayer cloth. I got him to pray for it and got him a prayer cloth, and I give it to him that day, and he held it in his hand, and he was standing up there before the judge, and he had it in his hand, and then one of the deputies, they seen his hand shut up. They come running over where he's at. What you got in your hand? What you got in your hand? He just reached it out and he said I've got a prayer cloth that's what I've got he grabbed it out of his hand and took it away back over yonder and the devil I was sitting way back in the back devil said now he done got his prayers and all of that you prayed all of that but I said no 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 that cloth don't do the work it's but your faith you got in God it's your, that cloth it's just a simple for us to mourn as to pray and I believe in them, don't you? I believe in them. If I hadn't believed in them, I wouldn't give it to him. But he stood there before the judge, and the judge looked at him, and he sentenced him, and he said, I'm giving you five years in penitentiary. And he hit the disc with the hammer. Then all at once, he reared back in his chair, and his mind, his eyes looked up, and like his mind went afar off. That's when my Savior was speaking to him. And just for a second, he reared back there that way and he raised back up and he hit the desk again and he said I'm going to suspend all of that I'm just going to give you maybe two years I believe it was a, 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 a probation and he don't got to go to jail As somebody told me I had I said oh Tommy knows some high people in Lebanon I said yeah 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 I do ain't the ones you're thinking about ain't the ones you're thinking about but it's the Lord it's the Lord. He's the high man. He's the high man. If you stay on course, brother, God will work for you. God won't let you down. God never has let his people down. I didn't pray for God to exempt him from that. I know he done wrong, but I was looking at my little baby, grandbabies. I was looking at them going up without dad, and they need dad. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you yeah, me when I pray. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. He moves for you. Yeah. He can do it, brother. Uh, he can change this lecture. Uh, he can change it as we're, we're speaking now. Yeah. He can change it yeah. when you get home. Right it all now. can be different. Yeah. He can. Yeah. He can do it. Amen. He's got all power. He's got it. Amen. Everybody was saying your son's gone this time. But when you know the man, yeah. huh? when you know the man over yonder, sitting over yonder at the right hand of the Father, changes it all. Changes it all. He can speak to the evil man's heart. Well, sure he can. He can change the minds. He can do things. And I knew when he ran back, and he just looked, he was staring right up towards the ceiling, just out in space. Things was going on in that man. Things going, 
There's a higher power. There's a higher power. There's a higher power. Ain't you glad you're serving him? Ain't you glad you're saved? Ain't you glad that he's your savior? I'm glad he's my savior. He's my everything. He's my all in all. And if I'll stay on course, I'll end up in heaven. I'll end up in heaven. If I stay on the horse, that's where I'm planning on going. That's my hope and all I've got is in Him. And I'm trusting in Him and I'm believing in Him. I'm leaving. I'm seeking Him. I'm looking to Him to land me over here in a better world. I ain't got too much of this world. It ain't going to be much longer. It ain't going to be much longer. It's going to get rougher and rougher like the Bible said. It's going to wax worse and worse just like the Bible said. It's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. It's going to. Things that's done happen come to pass. We've seen. You read the, you read the Bible and read it. About everything you read done come to pass. You can see it and it's happening. Things that's done happen that people don't even realize. That a lot of people don't even realize that's done, done took place. Oh, Hitler done done a lot of it. Hitler was part of it. That done come and went years ago. And it's, and it's fulfilled on down through time. And a lot of folks say he's done forgot about it. A lot of folks don't even see it when it's happened before the very eyes. But it happens. God, it's going to be fulfilled. But the Bible said he could shorten the days. That's the Bible. That's what, and he said, for the elect's sake, they shall be short. Huh? For the elect, now that, that's talking about me and you. That's talking about me and you. For the elect, the saints of God. You know, I preach that a lot of times, being saints, and folks soul up. Well, I ain't a saint. If you're saved, you're a saint. You're a saint. They think saints is things more super and power and all that. It's just a good child of God, the good heart in them, serving the Lord and the, and the Spirit and the power of God in their life. That's what it is. That's all it is, church. I, I'm telling you, that's all it is. You're a saint, ain't you? If you, say, if you ain't a saint, you ain't, are you? If you ain't a saint, you better become one. You better become one. We're saints of God. We're saved. We're on a, we, we better follow the course. Follow the right course, and it'll lead you to heaven. It'll lead you to heaven. Jesus, come down here. And he plowed a fur through this land. That's right. He plowed a fur through this land for me and you to follow. Yes, sir. And all along the way, he set examples for us to go by. He surely did. You know, washing feet is an example for us to go by. Things that's in the Bible for us to go by. The Bible's always lift your holy hand. Well, Lord, there's things church can do, ain't there? Yeah. There's things Christians can do that we don't do, that we can do. We Lift our holy hands. Yeah. Come in, uh, praising and worshiping the Lord. Yeah. I remember my dad and I'm talking. I'm going to get out of the way just in a little bit. But I remember my dad and I'm going walking to church and walking up on the, uh, uh, up way up on a big ridge up on the mountain. They had a church up there. And dad said, you, if you got up there, you could hear people coming up this side. Way down the holler, singing and shouting. Yeah. Said you get over here on this side, you can hear them coming up that way, yeah. singing and shouting. Yeah. Walking now, that's they walking for miles. Yeah. Yeah. Said that little building would be full, and the power of the Lord would just yeah. fill the whole house. Yeah. And so when they left, they'd go back the same way, singing and shouting, singing and shouting. Yeah. What done that? The spirit and the power of the Lord was in their life, sure. and 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 they and they and they was getting ready. To get, get something when they got up there. Uh, they was getting ready. They, they was done ready when they got there. Amen. You know, a lot of folks got to get, they got to come to church and get, get preached to and all this to get ready to get a blessing. Yeah. We ought to be ready when we come. That's right. We ought to be ready when we come. We ought to done be prayed up and ready, ready to when we go. Right. I remember dad and mom, they sung. Uh, and I remember before they went to church, uh, they'd get the songbook out and they'd start looking through it and praying, uh, seeking the Lord, uh, uh, for the Lord to give them a song to sing that night. Yeah. Getting ready, right. getting prepared, getting prepared. Now we, we can just go to church and we're there and ain't even prepared. We ain't preachers go not prepared. Sometimes I've been that way. I'm guilty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of that. Yeah. Uh, not prepared. Uh, and you get caught and there you are. Uh, and there you are. Uh, and, yeah. and so here we are. But we ought to always go prepared. Uh, always go ready. Uh, singers ought to be ready. Testifiers uh, ought to be ready. Don't mean you got to ever serve us. Uh, but it won't hurt for you to every once in a while. Yeah. 
Every once in a while. Every once in a while. It wouldn't hurt you to sing. It wouldn't hurt you to stand to your feet and testify. Give your testimony sin. That's why it's, a, that's why it's so in good point. Boy, to be in the house of the Lord, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, Lord, to be in the house of the Lord. I'm like Jason. I'd rather be in here and out yonder. I'm just telling you, I'd rather be here and out there. I, I'm telling you, I, I'd rather be in here. I feel safe in the house of the Lord. I, I do. I'm telling you my heart. I feel safe when I'm in the house of the Lord. I do. I feel more safe to right here than I do anywhere. So I told them up church, I said, we may get to there. It may hit the church. I may get it. I may die with it. I don't know. But there's one thing about it. I'm going to die fighting for the Lord. I'm going to die fighting for the Lord. I'm going to die on the battlefield fighting for him. I am. I'm going to fight for him. I'd rather I'd get the verse and die for the Lord than I would to stay out of church and lose out with God and lose my salvation and live to be a hundred years old and die and go to hell. I'd rather die right now. I'd rather die now. I'm going to tell you, die fighting for the Lord. You can't go wrong if you do that. You can't go wrong if you do that. That's right. You can't go wrong if you do that. But let's stay on course. Let's stay on course. Let's don't bend this way. Let's don't bend that way. I had a lady talk to me down on the phone. And I said, I feel like the Lord wants me to just be like I've been. Keep going like I'm going. Keep being like I've been. Serving Him. Serving Him. She said, you... Uh, you, you mean you're going to keep on going? I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to keep church going as long as I can. Keep doors open as long as I can. Oh, yeah. Virus comes in. We may have shut down that week or two like you did here. Right. I don't know. I said, but if we do, we're going to jump right back up. If I ain't dead, and go right back. That's right. Just jump right up and I'm going to go right back. Yeah. Go right back. Go, I believe it's what the Lord wants us to do. Sure I believe that's what he wants me to do. He wants me to stay on course. He wants me to stay on course. And you know what, now, I, I don't mean to offend nobody. No, I don't, I don't. But you know what he, he wants me to do? He wants what you to do and me to do when we come in here? Just like we always did. That's exactly right. Amen. Amen. Just like we always did. Huh? Before the virus come. Come on. That's right. Come on. Yeah. A lot of folks said, well, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to even come up and let you pray for me or afraid to get around. I said, I'm going to do just like I always did. Yeah. Yeah. Going to anoint you with oil. I'm going to put my hands on you. I believe the Lord's going to heal you. Amen. I mean, I'm going to keep on doing like I'm supposed to do, like I've always did. That's what the, that's what the disciples done. John now got out there and preaching out there in the street, and they, don't you preach in his name. They took them in there and they whipped them. Next day, you know what they done? They went out there and they come back along and they healed them out there. Well, I hear them out there preaching again. Yeah. They're right back out there preaching again. That same name. Now, we whipped them fellas. We told them not do that no more. Yeah. Do you know what they done? Went right back and started doing it again. Yeah. Preaching again. Huh? I believe it's what he wants us to do, church. Amen. He wants us to stay on course. Stay on course. Stay on course. He don't want me to wiggle over here and just to get around something, go over here. Stay on course. Stay on course. We've got to have our faith in the Lord. Got to have my faith in the Lord. Got to have it. Yeah. Got to believe it. Yeah. Got to believe you'll take care of us. Amen. Got to believe it. And I believe you will, church. I believe you will. Believe will. Yeah. Some way or another, the Lord will provide. Yeah. Some way or another, the Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hush, but i got one more thing come to my mind. They tell you. But as I killed a beef this year, uh, I took it over to Russell's Beef Factory. And I took it over there to have it cut up. I've been taking them on there for years and years and years. And I always get my appointment from one year to the next, so I have it open. If you don't, you can't get in. So I took it over there. Uh, before I went over there, Dallas White had, comes to our church. Me and him's got cows, and we run them together in the summertime, and we separate them in the winter. And he sold his. And that man over there that owns that meat place, his boys bought them cows. Off and down. And this was on a Thursday. And they come to get them. And I told Dow, Dow asked me would I come and help him get them all loaded up and ready. So we done that and had them out there ready when these men come. This man over at the meat place told his uh, wife, said, I ain't going to go with my boys today. He said, I'm going to stay here. So I'm just going to let them go get the cows. And uh, so uh, he got up that, that morning, Thursday morning, and Somebody had call, even called in and said they're sick and couldn't be there to work for him. 
He said, in just a few minutes, another man called and said, I can't be there to work for you. So we're sick and we can't make it. And that man said, the Lord spoke to him, said, I want you to go with them boys to get them cows. Said, I want you to go with them. And he told his wife, said, well, I've got to go get that. Wife said, we're short-handed, two men today. we we got to have you. He said, no, I've got to follow the Lord. Yeah. So he come with them. And he got up there, and I didn't, I didn't even know that man. And anyway, but he got up there where we was all at, and we started putting the cows in. And uh, we had one cow, Dow had one cow real wild. It just run on top of you. We couldn't hardly do a thing with that thing. Finally got it, got it up there where we put it in the trailer, and that thing would not go in. It was just wild. It, it, it's just keeping us all run out. And uh, I told them men, I said, let's just pray. And let's ask the Lord, speak to that cow so we can yeah. get it in that trailer. Yeah, so we, we bowed our heads and we prayed. And that man got over in that lot where that cow was at. And the cow run over there and come back. And it was going right towards him. It looks like going to run over him. And he just got stepped back a little bit to the side. That cow turned around, walked by him, went straight over there and walked in the trailer. I said, now it's time to praise him for. So we praised him and give him glory. But the main point I want to tell you about, that man said, I went to pick up my beef that I took over there, and uh, talking. that man was there, and I was talking to him. He said, you was one of the men up on the mountain, wasn't you? And I said, yeah. And... Uh, he said, uh, well, he said, I wasn't, he, then he told me what I just told you, that he wasn't going to go that day. And he said, but the Lord sent me there to meet you and to meet Ellis Whitey. Just so many know Brother Ellis. Ellis was up there and said, meet Brother Ellis, two preachers. And he said, I got some things I need to tell you. He said, in 2000, he said, 21, he said, there's going to be a famine. He said, the Lord spoke to him. He said, there's going to be a, a famine. In 2021, and said uh, said you might ought to get you up a few extra can stuff. He said I just feel like warning you and telling you. Said I've been telling everybody I meet, and uh, he said I ain't trying to scare nobody. But he said I'm just the Lord told me to tell everybody I can, and he said you might ought to get you a few extra can stuff. And uh, and the week before that, Dow Dow had got a beef and went over. There. And how come I feel the man is of God? I, 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 felt, I felt the peace about him when he was talking to me. And uh, so Dow went over to get his one, and he reached out the, the bill, and Dow started reaching the money, and he said, I don't want your money. He said, the Lord spoke to me and said, for me to not charge you for cutting up that beef. And I, Dow said it was over $200 for the paper to be. And uh, Dow said he got the paper and, that it said paid in full by God, wrote on it. And uh, just anybody ain't going to do stuff like that. Just anybody ain't. But he said, you my daughter, and I thought I might share that with you folks. I ain't trying to scare none of you. But I come home and I pondered and I prayed about that. And uh, I told Marlena, I said, uh, when we go to the store, I want you to start buying a extra little can stuff. We're going to store a little bit up. And I said, if that man's right, we'll be glad we did. But if that man ain't right, I said, we'll have it to eat anyway. Or if somebody we know that needs food, we'll take and give it to them. So either way, I'm going to come out winning. That's right. I, I, don't you think I am? I guarantee you. I mean, either way, you're going to come out a winner. So, uh, so she'd been buying. I said, just buy stuff we really like. And, and I said, soup beans would be a real thing to store up. I <laughs> You can't be soup beans. That'd go with you a long ways, won't it? Soup beans, fried taters. Oh, Lord. And that beef I got there, that'd go a long, long. That, 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 that'd help you now. I mean, that'd strengthen you, won't it? I'm just no country folk. But I just feel like telling you instead. That, that my, my, you might want to do that. I don't know. I just feel like telling that. And it may not happen. I don't know. I, I don't know. But he said the Lord had warned me, and he said that. And, and I, he said, I've got to share that, people. And... Uh, and, you know, he knows I'm going to be coming back over our Lord will next year. And, uh, and if this don't happen, and, you know, if he ain't right, I'm going to tell him. If he, ain't, if he ain't right, I'm just going to say, buddy, you missed it. Yeah. 
I mean, that, I believe that's the way I believe it, don't you? If it's of God, it'll be right, won't it? If it ain't, it won't. I mean, that, that's just the way it is. That's just the way, that's the way it works with God. But he, he may be right. I mean, I don't know. But he also said this. He said there's going to come something to happen to the cattle business. Something's going to happen to the cattle business, he said. And he said, I don't know what that's going to be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to be, he said. But something's going to happen to the cattle business. And I, so, I mean, that's just what he said. And I want to share that with you folks, just uh, tell you about that. And maybe you can think about it, pray about it. If you feel like storing you a little something up, it, won't, it ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, if he's right, uh, Joseph told them down yonder, store the corn up. So, so it's happened before. Yeah. So maybe, maybe this is the way the Lord's working through that little man to get it in our area here to all of us folks and you folks and other people to help us out a little bit. He knows what's ahead now. now he knows what's ahead. But I love you. If I can help you anyway, let me know. I'll try my best. And I love coming over here to Antioch. I ain't been over here in a while, but boy, I'm glad I'm here tonight. I just enjoyed this service and the blessings of the Lord. And I love him, don't you? Amen. I love the Lord. God bless you. I appreciate you. Amen. Yeah, yeah, Lord, yeah.